heading into your 10th year as head coach, every team a little different. What is it about this team that you think will be its identity or what are you looking for from the 2023 group? Yeah, I think we've, we've preached toughness a lot to our group. Um, how, how we get through the season, uh, how well we do at the end of the season, I think will be a direct result of how tough we are. As the bumps come along the way, um, you know, everyone says baseball is a game of failure and that kind of stuff. But I, I really think if, if our group can approach it with the right mindset, then we can be better because of all the setbacks or because of all the adversity that if, if we use that um, to, uh, to fuel us, then I think that's how you play your best baseball at the end of the year. I believe we are really tough. I think we've got some really, really high character uh, young men in our program that are resilient. And I think uh, we can get punched in the gut, but we can get back up off the mat and we can, we can get better from anything that happens. We can get better from it. And I think this team will embrace that. And uh, again, I, I think we'll start hot. I think we'll be very good at the beginning of the year, but I think we'll be playing our best baseball at the end of it. Something I'm most excited about is, you know, being able to prove, prove ourselves. Um, I think we left a lot on the table um, last year and we're coming back with, with a lot of talent, a lot of belief in ourselves. Yeah, excited about Open Up at Georgia Tech. Obviously, it's a, you know, they're, they're a great program. They recruit really well. They've won a ton of games and have a ton of great history. Um, but, but yeah, for us, you know, like we're not going there to take pictures of the stadium or go you know, enjoy Atlanta. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a business trip for us. Uh, we wouldn't put them on the schedule if we didn't think we could beat them. Um, and, and I've said this forever, but I'll never get on a baseball field if I don't think we can win the game. And I, I think that's how our team will approach it, too. I think we'll be hungry. Uh, to get on the field with a really good team and, and show each other and, and show them how good we are at this. I think uh, we've got a lot of competition at spots, so it's, it's definitely, um, I won't be shocked if uh, there's, there's quite a few names that get opportunities at each spot, but uh, Ryland Zabrowski and, and uh, Evan Applewick are two guys that I think give us a really good option at third base. They can both be uh, great defenders over there. And Ryland is, uh, I think, a, a, a special player offensively. I think he can, he's cap what he's capable of from an offensive standpoint, and he's a versatile athlete. He could end up playing quite a few positions. We have uh, two guys at short uh, that I think can really do it at a high level between Cooper Weiss and Dylan Baker uh, that are both new to the program, uh, but they give us uh, more depth than we've had at that position in a couple years. Uh, where two guys I think can really get it done at a high level over there. Won't be surprised if, uh, if, if Dylan ends up playing a lot of second base um, as well, uh, but there's good competition over there between Blake Buzio and uh, Billy Kapicki over there as well, that, that all three of those guys can play really, really high level defense. I think our second baseman should field like 990 this year w without being magnificent, like without being their best. Like they're just very, very talented defenders. First base will have, I think there'll be a lot of opportunities to go around. I think we'll match up uh, regularly with, with who, who fits the, the, the starting pitcher and there might be some pinch hitters in that spot too. But we've got a lot of guys that I think can have really high end uh, offensive production um, that we can kind of mix and match over there uh, at first base. Behind the plate, um, David Novak is, is back from last year, had a really, really good freshman year, uh, and he looks to, to, I think, progress on that. Um, Tommy Harrison's a freshman who's done a really nice job as well. Left-handed hitter, which we, we are, uh, if anything, we're short on in the offense would be that we could be a little bit more left-handed. Uh, I think Tommy's going to be able to navigate at bats really well for a freshman to be able to handle uh, a, a pretty large role. Uh, I think anytime you, you, you think you're going to start a bunch of freshmen on a team, I don't think you can expect to be really good. Uh, but Tommy, I think, is different than a lot of freshmen. I think he'll be able to handle uh, what we ask him to do inside of our lineup um, to be really good. And Parker Lester will be back there. Uh, behind the plate as well that can um, uh, he, he caught a little bit last year but we've kind of transitioned him from third base to a little bit more behind the plate and first base this year uh, so I look forward for all, all three of those guys to get meaningful innings back there and put together really good at bats for us uh, and then just to kind of keep going around the outfield you got um, guys who are back is Christian Tejada, Nate Stone, uh, Benji Brokman, um, Zach McDonald all guys that have played in that outfield a lot already in their careers um, and I, I think that there's a couple other guys who will compete for time out there, uh, but I'm really excited about that, that group of guys. This could be a, a really dynamic outfield group. Uh, each one of those guys brings a, a lot to the table offensively, and they can all be plus defenders as well. Something I've been working on with uh, Coach Ope is um, the addition of a new pitch. Um, I've added a slider, which is something I haven't had in my arsenal before, something I could attack uh, right-handed hitters with more often so I don't have to rely on the 
change up? Uh, this year, I've really been working on swing decisions. Uh, I feel like I struggled in the past with chasing, and so I'm just trying to make better decisions on, on pitches I want to hit. Previewing your pitching staff, starters and relievers. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of guys, man. They're, I think the pitching staff will be, um, it'll be very good this year. Uh, I think Zach Maxey will kind of headline a really good pitching staff. I think he's, he was had the second lowest CRA in the conference last year behind Jonathan Brand. Uh, and if it wasn't second lowest, it was third lowest. So he, he, he looks to, to do a great job for us and give us really good starts. I think Tyler Chadwick and Connor Oliver can also um, fill the, the weekend starting rotation that, that they'll, they're going to give us really, really good starts each time out. The bullpen, I think, is as deep as we've had maybe since I've been here. I know we've had a couple of good pitching staffs, but I really like what the bullpen figures to be. Um, I, I won't go through each guy name by name. Uh, because I'd be fearful that I'd leave one of these guys out because there, there, there are a lot of guys that I think will count on for those, for those innings. But it, what, I, what I would say is that of the pitchers that we'll trust at the end of the game, I talk about the, you know, wanting the team, the identity to be that of a, a really tough group. There's some really tough guys back there, man. There's some guys that they're, they're not going to mind uh, the one-run game with the guys at second and third and, and a one out in the ninth and bringing them into that situation. They're going to thrive in those situations. So yeah, we got midweeks back, like more, more midweeks back. So we'll have some more five game weeks where we play Tuesday and Wednesday. And those are awesome. I like, I like those opportunities to keep completing the roster. We get, we, the, the roster gets deeper when you're able to do that because you, give, you can get guys more opportunities to go out there and play, uh, especially with, with how we do it. We only have three non-conference weekends before we get into conference. So it's not a ton of time to, to figure out if you know, your backup or you know, second string, third string guy is really ready for college baseball at this level, if they can really handle what we're asking them to do. Uh, but this gives us a longer time. And throughout the course of the season, you can still find some of these opportunities for guys. Where over the last couple of years, you couldn't do that. The MAC games were too important. You kind of had to roll what you thought your best group was. And at the end of the year, we just weren't as deep as um, we, we would like to feel because we didn't create enough opportunities for some of those guys. But having the three game weeks back is, is definitely the, the preference. Uh, I don't think there was anybody that really enjoyed the four game weekends. Um, but I, I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, I, again, I, I say this to our guys, I think we'll be the most talented team on the field very often this year. Uh, but what we're going to work on and what the substance is, and I think how good we'll be, will be if we're the toughest team on the field. Every, and that's something that we can absolutely control. The talent you know, is what it is, but if we're the toughest team every time, then I think we're going to win a whole bunch of games. And, and I think that's, um, I'm looking forward to that, especially when we get to conference, to see the consistency of it. You know, I think it's easy to uh, get up for a game. You know, it's easy to play your best game once, but can we do it consistently and, you know, day in, day out? And I think that'll be, uh, you know, kind of on, on the, the leadership of our team and um, to see if, if we can be a consistent team and a consistently tough team that, that'll just wear other teams down throughout a weekend.